Let me go straight across to Dr. Abhishek Manu Singhvi, who is joining us on the broadcast. Dr. Singhvi, thank you very much. You've had a very, very long day in court today, and it has ended very well for you. So many, many congratulations. Uh, can I ask by uh, asking you, can I start by asking you uh, what the highlight of today's judgment on the mayoral elections in Chandigarh has been for you? Of course, you have won, but what was the highlight of the judgment for you? Mr. Singh, you, uh, Singh, you'll have to unmute yourself, please. Uh, I said, as, uh, obviously, winning is very sweet taste, but there is much more to it, Shreya, which I think you'll find interesting for your viewers to know. So, first thing is to appreciate the larger issues. The brazenness of what happened factually, and then I'll come to the other legal implications. What happened factually, Shreya? Most people may not know this. Mm -hmm. It's a textbook case of how to make a victory of 20 versus 16 into a defeat of 12 versus 16. Yeah. There is a figure of 20 here, there is a figure of 16, eight are declared. As somebody put it well, it is not important, it is not the vote that counts. It is the person who counts the vote which is important. It's a very true saying, Stalin used to say it. Now, there is a dot put there which is almost indecipherable or a squiggle put by the returning officer purely as an excuse to reject your vote. The vote is clear. Today, the votes were seen. A squiggle is put. Look at the brazenness after that, that yesterday, the man comes and says, I put yes something, but I put it because it had already been defaced. Dood ka dood, pani ka pani ho gaya. When the ballots were brought, there was no defacement, none at all. And why did this gentleman put a dot for eight only? All eight AAP and Congress candidates. Why only on them? And then he says, I was looking at the camera and I think, you know, uh, he, he was righteously indignant beyond the point through his counsel as if he'd done nothing wrong. He's looking at something which is overlooking the valid paper, the camera. And you see every time he's checking. And his entire demeanor shifted as part one. Now part two, what is very, very laudatory is, and this doesn't happen always, the court walked the talk. The Supreme Court walked the talk. They went to the last mile and they declared the mayor elected on a 2016 vote. They didn't say, okay, we'll have a committee to examine, we'll have a report. Because you will not enjoy the fruits of a poison tree if you have spread the poison. And let me tell you that prior to this, the Supreme Court, two weeks ago when I appeared, three weeks ago, passed a very interesting interim order. Again, preventing you from getting the benefits of your own acts and omissions. They passed an interim order saying everything stayed, mm. And most importantly, Shreya, all the ballots be preserved. This is an order three, but, but for that order two and a half weeks ago, which I had argued, you would not have got this stage of the ballots. Then they added, the budget session to start, I think, on 7th, etc., will not start. And the man will not take charge. And hmm. today they walk the talk fully by saying, not only do we okay. declare the result, we declare the man elected as mayor. Now, this is what is most important. I'm not concerned with this case facts, but it's most important that you do not get lost at the end on technicality. If you have found the illegality, the remedy must follow. It must be swift and practical. There's no point me giving sermons to, the, to you about how to maintain probity and be clean. And then at the end of the day, operation successful, okay. patient dies. So I think these are very appreciable elements of a okay. judgment which they dealt with it quickly. He sat, the learned chief justice went, sat till 4.30, dealt with the whole matter. And ultimately, I think that walking the talk in the last mile connectivity in the order is the most important part of the order. Okay. So, Mr. Singhvi, here's, here's a question that is plaguing all of us ever since the order came out. We were doing the math. You've just done the math for us. But we, were, uh, we uh, factored in the three defections that we have seen in the last 48 hours from, uh, from the Ahmadmi Party to the BJP. What is stopping the BJP from saying, after a week, that uh, the gentleman that the Supreme Court has appointed as the new mayor of Chandigarh doesn't enjoy the trust of this house. It is, after all, we who now have the numbers. What is stopping them from introducing a no-trust motion and uh, bring, bringing the up fellow down and installing a BJP man in? Because they now have the numbers. Yes. Now, let me answer that. There are two very interesting facets to it. 
Well, nothing beyond a point can prevent illegality. But the first point you're forgetting is it illustrates and underlines how brazenly the two and a half, three weeks period given by the Supreme Court to file a reply was used to convert a minority into a majority. Tell me why does it happen? It happens only by three things with this government. Why does it happen with uh, unfailing regularity in BJP episodes, BJP states or BJP majority seeking endeavors? You can do it only by money or by direct fear, misuse of agencies. This is giving, as I jokingly mentioned in the court today, the horse a bad name. It is man training and you give the horse a bad name mm -hmm. by calling it horse trading. This is the worst form of political debauchery. So you, the BJP, are actually winning a short-term war, possibly a battle. But you are creating mud on your face in the long term because you are now the so-called hunger for victory that we fight to win is something which has to be by fair means. You are making a virtue out of it. You're actually looking like a fool. That's answer number one. Answer number two, the mayor stands elected today. His term is fixed. I think it's a one year or one and a half year term. I don't remember. You can't easily remove hmm. it. And when you do that endeavor, you will get more ignominy and muck on your face. Today, see, democracy means what, share. Ultimately, you can't prevent illegalities because of numbers. But somewhere deep down in the people, the psyche of the people, it enters your mind that, look, these are people out by hook or by crook and more by crook and less by hook to, uns to, to indulge in anti-democratic practices. Well, if they want to paint that picture of themselves, not here, from Karnataka to Himachal, from uh, state A to state B, well, then good luck to them. Let the people judge them for themselves. I don't think it's going to be so easy for them to remove the mayor. Having used the three and a half, two and a half weeks to convert this majority, how shameful. 16 becomes 19 and 20 becomes 17. That is why the court declared the result. Mr. Singhvi, thank you very I, much. You know, hmm. It's very interesting. Thank you very they much. Said, no, Mr. Let's yeah, go ahead. Complete your point. Complete very your point. Interesting. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. After having strategically asked the mayor to resign yesterday, they came with a very blasé, very innocent face. Mm -hmm. Well, what's the problem? Let's have elections again. Let's have elections and why don't you allow me mm -hmm. to enjoy the fruits of my poison tree because I have won over people by inducement. I mean, this is absolutely disgusting. You have not seen this level of politics except by BJP, for BJP, of BJP. Okay. Okay, Mr. Singhvi, thank you very much. Many congratulations. It's been a good day for you in court. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm slipping into a very quick break here on the show. My colleague Shreya Upadhyay joins you next at the top of nine with all the day's top stories. Do stay with us.